Um, welcome to the NFP Standard Snapshot for NFP 1407 Standard for Fire Service Rapid Intervention Crews, or RICS. Um, the standard is designed for all departments should at least have an initial res rapid intervention crew, or an IRIC, until the designated RIC is on the scene. Um, this standard will design to tell you the basic procedures to, to conduct firefighter rapid intervention operations and basically outline the training program for those activities. Um, it'll cover base, basic evolutions based on local conditions and a mechanism for evaluation uh, for performing during training. And that'll depend on your local conditions and occupancies, et cetera. Um, every organization should have a developer policy on RIC training, um, basically outlining um, your scope of RIC training, be IRIC or a full uh, rapid intervention crew, um, what they should be uh, training evolutions and procedures for that. Um, and it should be written, and all the members of the uh, department should be given a copy of the uh, training policy and guidelines. Um, there should be a briefing for all those not in the RIC team to, um, for a safety briefing prior to the training to undergo, um, to know what's going on with the uh, RIC training, uh, how they fit into the RIC training, and it should go in an an annual evaluation to make sure you're uh, competent to stay on the team. Um, we're going to talk about some uh, basic requirements for the uh, crew and inst uh, instructors and officers, and it should be for the, the crew. Uh, instructors should meet the uh, qualifications set up by the um, HJ or the, the fire chief in this case, and um, in a lot of cases that would be uh, meet the JPRs of uh, fire instructor one. Um, the instructor in charge is responsible for complying with the standard. They should know the, all the context of the standard um, and go through everything before the training is uh, conducted to make sure the training is going to be um, safely conducted and all uh, the training uh, props, et cetera, are, in, uh, in, are ready to go. Uh, students that are involved with RIC training should meet the job performance requirements for 1001 or, fire, or basically Firefighter 1 for the standard on firefighter professional qualifications. Um, the leaders uh, should, be a, a fire, should meet the JPRs of, uh, for a fire officer level 1 as uh, outlined in 1021, standard for fire officer professional qualifications. On fitness and medical requirements, you, sh you should be looking at FPA 1500. Standard on Fire Department Occupational Safety and Health Programs, Chapter 10 outlines the uh, physical and mental requirements, uh, basically uh, uh, physical and uh, physical fitness requirements uh, for the RIC team as well as uh, members of the uh, Fire Department. Um, if your incident commander um, should be aware of the training and the policies and procedures for the RIC operation so they know what's going on. Um, and incorporated in, in part of their incident action plan. Um, members should know when and how to declare a May Day, and that's outlined uh, a little bit in here as well as 1500, um, so you know exactly what should, when you call it and, and how to, all the uh, steps you should take to declare a May Day, and everybody in the uh, department should know that um, as well. Um, a PAR or Personal accountability report should be conducted after every training operation. Um, basically, when you go in, you get, do accountability and, and make sure everybody comes out of the training. Um, if you have special uh, conditions or situations within your uh, department or community, they should be uh, you should train on those. Um, and the key is the, the um, firefighter self-rescue training, um, so people can start to self-rescue themselves before the uh, IRIC or the RIC team. Um, becomes uh, comes on scene to assist the uh, the down firefighter. Uh, tools tools and equipment should be what you have on in your department and what the uh, RIC team brings. If you're not the RIC team, uh, a lot of departments um, will have a designated RIC team from another department come in. Um, so you should know their tools and equipment, and uh, the department should know as well. And if you provide tools for the RIC team, if there's somebody else, they should know what those uh, tools are as well. Um, during training, as, as just as any emergency incident, a safety officer should be appointed for the training. 
and you should be uh, each crew as an as a individual and a crew should be evaluated as a team while participating in the training evolutions and 1407 outlines numerous training evolutions um, for RIC teams to follow um, in performing their duties. If you want to know more about the standard and uh, the process, the codes and standards development process and uh, timelines and how to submit proposals and everything else, or to read the document, you can go to uh, www.nfp.org slash 1407. And you can also uh, visit the uh, NVFC website at nvfc.org um, to look at the resource guide um, that's provided with this one and, um, and understanding and implementing standards.